Hello and welcome to the second video in the Tiger VQ series, the series in which I answer the most interesting viewer questions that I've found in comments on the channel. And today's question comes in from Tapani. So Tapani, thank you for your question. And the question is all about formatting, achieving a sophisticated look using formatting techniques. Now, before we get into the techniques, I just want to discuss the role of formatting in general, because in Excel, we're presented with uh, such a wide range of formatting options. We can do shading, we can choose any colors, we can do gradient fill, we can do pattern fills, we can put shapes in. So a real array of options there. And if we're not careful, we can become a bit overwhelmed by the options and maybe focus too much on formatting just because of the sheer range of options available to us. So it's important first to understand the role of formatting in spreadsheet modeling more generally. And for me, we have to remember that it is in a supporting role, formatting. It has a supporting role. The role of formatting is to help the user understand, interpret the data. A model that has sophisticated formatting but that doesn't work properly would be very frustrating for the user. So. That's how we're going to approach the topic of formatting. It's in a supporting role and it's something to learn. Certainly the more sophisticated techniques, they are something to learn after you've mastered the basic functionality in Excel. So with that said, let's get into the question. So Tapani written into us here and said, how did you make the dotted background and cropped it around the content that needs to be seen? It looks so clear and good. Yep, thank you Tapani. I think it does look pretty good. So you're talking about this effect if we look in column B and C here. Uh, column B has this uh, dotted fill and then column C actually has no fill at all and it has the effect of making the important information stand out. So this is a good illustration of what we were discussing at the beginning of the video. The formatting helps the important information st stand out, helps the user to process um, the spreadsheet more efficiently, it just makes it easier to look at. So this is how we're looking to apply formatting. So let's have a look at some of these techniques. And I'm going to start by just clearing the formats on. Let's clear the formats in this area. And then I'm just going to build the formats up again so you can see how they're done. So Alt H E F on a PC is the shortcut to clear the formats. So now the formats are cleared. We've gone back, back to Calibri, probably the default font in your version of Excel too. And there's nothing going on in these cells. These are just empty cells uh, with no fill. So how would we go about creating? Um, firstly, let's look at this dotted fill effect. And so I'm just going to select the area. Note I'm using the shift key and the cursors holding down the shift key, moving the cursors. That's a good, fast way to select cells. And then we're going to go into formatting. So you can right click and go to format cells. That's fine. But I do like uh, an Excel shortcut. So Alt H O E on a PC, Alt H O E takes us to the format cells dialog box. And this is how, where we control, we can control the fill and we can access some of those nice effects. So background color, we're happy with no color for the time being, but this is the area that you should be interested in if, you're, uh, if you want to achieve this effect. So let's go to pattern style first, and this is where we get the pattern fill options. What I've got already will be something like this. So we've got our pattern there now, and then we can select uh, the color for the pattern too. So let's just have, let's have a dark gray here. So this is the effect. We have a preview at the bottom here. This is the effect that Excel um, is going to create for us if we hit OK now. So I'm just hitting OK. We can see that the fill is in there. It's slightly different to what we've got already, but I'm not too worried about that because I do want to demonstrate how to quickly format cells. Now, clearly, we could manually uh, you know, click on the cells and go through that process multiple times. Uh, but there's ways to speed that up. My favorite way is to uh, select an area. I've just selected some cells, then hit the F4 key on a PC. Hit the F4 key. Uh, that will repeat the last action. 
in this case, the last action was to uh, make this nice formatting, this nice fill happen. So I'm just going around, holding down the shift key, uh, using the cursors to create this fill effect, just hitting the F4 key there. There we go. So very quickly, I was able to, uh, to, to achieve that formatting effect, uh, changing the settings in the formatting dialog box and using the F4 key to repeat uh, last action. So there we go. We've got this nice effect here. And already, I think this is, this is helping. This is making the important information stand out. It's not a distraction. There's not a really bright color there. In fact, at this point, it's probably worth mentioning colors and color schemes. Now we've got access to an unlimited amount of colors, all of the colors in the palette, and then we can go to more colors and you know go for custom colors here. So an infinite amount of color options are there. That doesn't mean we should use them all, of course, in my view. In my view, simplicity is key and my color schemes are very simple i use two colors i use one bland boring background color and i usually use gray or blue and then i use a color to contrast against that now this second color is not going to be used as much and this is a good example in our spreadsheet i've got gray and orange orange is the brighter color attracting uh, the user's eyes to wherever the orange is we don't want too much of that second brighter color. So I'm using a bland color, a brighter color, gray and blue for the bland color, and then orange I've used in sporting context. I try to use green because that's a bit like grass on a sports field. Uh, but whatever customer you're working for, an internal customer or just yourself, look at the company logo maybe. Can you take uh, a color from the company logo and put that into the spreadsheet? If you've also got the company logo in there too, that's going to give this sense of coherence, overall coherence. And that is what I think makes a spreadsheet look really good. So just a word on color schemes there. One boring color, one bright color seems to work well for me. So we'd like to put a border in this area to the left of column C. So what are our, our options for doing that? Um, I think it's a good idea to draw the border in. So we just hit draw border here. We can control the line color and the line style down here, I'm just gonna hit draw border. We can see that these dots have appeared to help us guide where we can draw our lines. So just left clicked there. And now I've got the pencil. The pencil shows that if I click and hold, move the mouse, it's gonna draw in uh, the line for us there. So that's a nice way to quickly draw in the line. You can see that the color is slightly different. Previously, I've used a dark gray. Uh, I've just used the default color today black, but I could very clearly, or you could very clearly uh, fix that. Good. So this, this is looking good. I think uh, we've got the background color there, not a distraction, just doing its job in the background, making the important information stand out, making it easier for the user to interpret uh, what's going on. Let's have a look at some alternative uh, kind of background fill techniques. Uh, so I've selected an area there, Alt H O E on a PC, gets us the, um, the formatting box. Now, another approach I've tried is using a dark background color. So let's go for, let's go for the, this dark gray. And in the pattern color, using a brighter color. So let's go for this orange. Let's go for this orange here. And then pattern style going for some horizontal stripes. Now I think horizontal stripes are a good choice because naturally certain the West, certainly readers from Western cultures would read left to right. So this nice line, horizontal line in the background is supporting the way somebody would naturally examine a spreadsheet. So let's go for horizontal stripes there. It's gonna give us this kind of effect. I think that's a little bit too much. Let's go for a thinner horizontal stripe. Now this, this looks uh, certainly interesting. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we've got our horizontal pattern fill there. I think that doesn't look too bad, actually. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just to show how quickly you can do this. Select the cells, F4, holding down the Shift key, cursors, select the cells, and hit the F4 key. There we go, so that's how quickly you can, you can reformat things. So this gives us this horizontal um, line fill, another uh, another good approach for a background color, I think. 
I'm going to undo this for the time being because the next thing I want to demonstrate works better with this pattern fill. So just control Z, control Z on a PC to undo. So we're back with this pattern fill now. And another kind of design principle that I think works well in spreadsheets when we think about the presentation of spreadsheets is this idea of layering, layering. And we can see on uh, the spreadsheet, we've got a couple of layers here. We've got this background layer, kind of redundant, just in the background, literally. Then we've got this second layer, which is kind of like a console. It, it's a slab for us to present, um, for us to present the important information there. So we've got this white area here, and then we've got a third layer here. So this chart, um, in this situation, this chart really told the story of the whole data set. This is the most important graphic to look at. So I've put it on top of this white slab and then just use some shadow formatting here. So if we click, if you go to format, uh, shape effects, you've got some nice shadow effects here. So simply applying a shadow to the right and bottom sides of the chart there, that's created this third layer. And I think that helps the user to interpret the information. This, this graph on the right stands out, so we're going to have a look at that first. And then naturally they'd look elsewhere and they're, they're, they're kind of drill down uh, into the more detailed stuff. So we've got this layering effect and we can further emphasize this layering effect by putting some, some nice shading in down here. It would be nice to have some shading in column B to make this console, this slab, this white slab we're talking about, to make it stand out more. So how might we do that? Well, one way, the way I use, is to just put a shape in here. So I'm gonna click on rectangle, gonna hold down the Alt key. In fact, before I do this, I'm just gonna make this column a bit wider, make it easier to demonstrate. There we go, I'm gonna move these shapes across as well. So select objects there, just outside of your screenshot. That was select objects. Just move these shapes across for the time being. There we go. And let's demonstrate this effect here. So insert, shape, rectangle, hold down the Alt key to ensure that the shape snaps uh, to, the, to the grid. Holding down the Alt key, releasing the mouse. And we can see we've got a shape in here now. So clearly that's the wrong color, but it's fitted nicely where we need it to go because we use the Alt key to position it uh, precisely. So let's look at the fill effects and let's go to format, shape fill. Then we're gonna go for gradient here. And the gradient I want is a kind of right to left gradient, which is something like this. Okay, there we go. But I want to edit that a little more shape gradient okay i'm going to go to more gradients just outside of your screenshot there's a more gradients option at the bottom here i'm going to resize the window there we go so i've got gradient options uh on the right here let's see let's see if we can get this working the the effect i'm looking for is a kind of gray to transparent gray to transparent gradient fill this can be a bit tricky we've got lots of options in here we've got these gradient stops now, usually the best thing to do with gradient stops is to make sure there's only two there. So if you select one, then hit the red cross here, that's gonna delete a gradient stop. And then you can click on either gradient stop and control which color will, um, which color that gradient stop will, will show. So let's go for this kind of orange fill. This gradient stop, I'm just gonna color white for the time being. Got those the wrong way around. Can I quickly switch them over? Okay, just switch those over. Now this is the effect I'm looking for. You can see by adjusting this gradient stop, I can adjust how this fill is working. I think something like something like this. I think something like this. Let's go for that. That, that should do the job. Okay. So let's look at what we've got. Well, it's not great at the moment. So what can we do to improve this? Firstly, let's format the shape and let's just go for no outline. Okay, looking a little bit better. And then we want to, 
and then we want to um, I want to create a, a transparent uh, feel here so I'm just going to adjust the transparency okay something like this I think is looking good right let's resize the window here and there we go now I've got this kind of fill effect and we can see it's helping this console that we've spoken about helping this slab just to stand out uh, a little bit more now clearly you know I think I can improve that but I don't want to waste too much time in the video you've got all the settings that we just saw you can play with those get precisely the effects uh, you're looking for but I'm going to just uh, bring these shapes back in now so home find and select find and select outside of your screenshot select objects that means I can select them very quickly like that just bring the shapes across here should be about right and you can see yeah this this is the kind of effect uh, I'm interested in and this is just helping this slab to stand out a little bit more okay that's as far as we're going to go in this video so just to repeat the important message formatting is not as important as functionality in spreadsheets I think you should only get into sophisticated formatting once you've mastered the main functions and your spreadsheet is working there's nothing more frustrating than a spreadsheet that has fancy formatting but isn't working properly so that's that's an important message but there's an array of techniques for us to use lots of colors and just by mastering a few and I've pointed out some some in this video just by mastering a few it can make a really big difference to your spreadsheets create that clean tidy professional look that we're looking for and the formatting technique should support the user to interpret should help the user to interpret the data to help them understand what's going on so thank you to Tapani for the question I hope that was hope that was helpful this is the second video in the Tiger VQ Tiger viewer questions series I hope to see you in another video in this series or in another video on the channel Thank <laughs> you.